What's up, everybody? Jeremy here from mtgheadquarters.com, bringing you a super fun box opening. Uh, as you know, my collection's getting a little low. I'm down to just a box of Unhinged, which I'm trying to sell, and Homelands, but I've still got some Return to Ravnica, and I've got like a fourth edition box. I'm right after Born of the Gods, I'm going to stock back up with 14 new boxes for this year. Check that. Uh, 24 boxes. So let's get right at this Return to Ravnica box. The last box we opened was pretty good. Not, not great, uh, but pretty good. Definitely got some cool pulls. Nothing like truly gonzo though. Boy, I wanted to also do like kind of an update video for you guys because we had a big contest just end. We've crossed over a thousand users in our forum now. So uh, this, this video will serve as double duty, if you know what I mean. Well, I'm referencing poop, obviously. So let's get going. Yeah, so the uh, mtgheadquarters.com backslash forum has been up for like, quite a few months now, but uh, it's just passed over a thousand users. And I, I probably won't do like a specific video about it. I just, I'll let you guys know what's up, you know, what's cracking in there. The mods have actually been getting the uh, spoilers up. But first, uncommon is gutter snipe. Then with Dreg Mangler, both seeing some standard play. Rakdos Ringleader. And our very first rare is an overgrown tomb. Just stop opening packs right now and leave ahead. And we have a foil. Phantom General. So yeah, the, fo the forum is doing really well. Uh, what else can I tell you? I have picked like 10 or 15 winners for the uh, 30 booster box giveaway thing. I'll be posting that shortly on the forum. I'll probably also post it uh, on the homepage of mtgheadquarters.com. So there's a blog there that you can just kind of keep an eye on. I've actually contacted most of the winners already, so you know who you are. Race Course Fury, Rights of Reaping. Street Sweeper, those are all terrible uncommons. And a Temple Garden. Holy balls. That is insane. Overgrown Tomb into Temple Garden. Now I should really stop. All right, thanks for watching this video, guys. <laughs> oh my gosh. Two packs, two Shocklands. That is truly excellent. It's shockingly good. Unless we go uh, on this like epic run now of no shock lands. There's a lot of good cards in Return to Ravnica. That's why I don't mind opening it right now. First Uncommon Goblin Rally. Lave Sky Knight. That's seeing some play. Slime Molding. And our rare is an Ash Cellar. That's seeing play in Devotion decks right now. The... Uh, so yeah, the, the winners have all been notified mostly, except for the winners that I've picked randomly out of the comment section of YouTube. So mostly you can actually just like view that uh, playlist and you'll see where I wrote it. Frostburn Weird, that's seeing standard play. First, oh, I'm sorry, Dark Revenants, first uncommon. Then Rick's Mighty Guild Mage, which may see play next like, after Born of the Gods, maybe Rakdos will be a thing. Somebody will at least try it, right? Fencing Ace. And our rare is Counter Poops. I mean, Flux. Ooze Token and then Full Rest. So, my goal is to reach close... Uh, well, it's probably a stretch goal, but... 50,000 subscribers by the end of March. So basically, it gives us two months to find another... <laughs> 8,000 of you guys. So if you have any friends, you know, tell them to get on board. What are they waiting for? And I've got a bunch of people all looking for something really cool to do. Sphere of Safety, Heroes Reunion, Nivix Guild Mage, 
and Deadbridge Goliath. Um, so the guy that was maybe going to sell me his Alpha Starter deck hasn't replied. So I decided I'm not going to get like too fixated on that because I think I could open up something just as cool. Maybe not have to spend $5,000, but... So I've got Lengthy Zemet looking. I've got the guys from Brute Force Games looking. MTG Card Market will look for something truly cool to do at 50000 And hey, if I can get my hands on the off, I will. Minotaur Aggressor. Zorius Kirun. Golgari Charm. Mercutial Chemister. These are rare. Um... Ooh, it's cold down here in the MTG headquarters studio slash basement. <laughs> so, are you guys getting amped up for, uh, you getting super pumped for uh, Born of the Gods? Sphere of Safety, Selesnya Kirun, Pyro Convergence, and our rarest Death's Presence. Limited only and a foil Druid's Deliverance. Limited playable only. I would think. Yeah, it's not bad to play in Limited. It's pretty much my 23rd, 24th card or something like that. Ah, 22nd or 23rd, if I don't have anything better. Civic Saber, Zinnikev Locust, Dryad Militant, that's his some play. And a rare is a Wayfaring Temple. It's alright. Uh, limited. Really only played in Limited th that I know of. But, um, you just never know. Populate's always been a really strong mechanic, and you just... You just never know when that's gonna, when it's gonna, all of a sudden a deck's gonna pop up. Aqueous Steed, Rakdos Charm, Pyro Convergence, and a rare is a Pack Rat. It's the card you want to see Pack 1, Pick 1, <laughs> Pack 1, Pick 1 in uh, any Return to Ravnica draft. I mean, hell, if you see it Pack 3, Pick 1, you take it. And you run it, and you splash for it. And you just win drafts that way. And it does see some uh, standard play currently, and... Mono Black Devotion, right? Race Course Fury, Life Sky Knight, Blood Fray Giant, and a rare is a Chaos Imp. 6 5 Flyer with Unleash. Started off with a bang, and it's been pretty quiet since. Let's see. Yeah, a bunch of like $1 rares. Ash Cell, it might be worth a few bucks. But as you guys know, I don't really complain. I just love the game. Like even, I've been streaming a lot this week and I've been on an epically bad run. I mean, I'm not normally, I'm really sloppy normally. Fairy Imposter, Thought Flare, Rakdos Rage Mutt, and the rare is a Jared's Orders. Poop. Um, but uh, this week I've been playing especially loose and I think last night I streamed for five hours straight at twitch.tv.com, ah, twitch.tv backslash MTG headquarters. We had close to 100 people on the stream. I, uh, I gave away an MTG headquarters playmat. It's the second one I've given away this week. So if you're around at night and you don't have anything going on, Soul Tithe, Slitherhead, Zorius Charm, I think we have a foil in this pack too. Underworld Connections, very solid, standard played in mono black. Tap to pay one life and draw a card. And no foils. But, uh... It's been, um... Yeah, pretty pretty fun run. I've been streaming. I don't stream that often. That's why I tell people, like, just go there and, like, click the follow button. And that way you'll know, like, you get a notification when I am streaming. Even if you're, if enough I'm not streaming, like, right now, you know. Syncopate. Is it Staticaster? Ooh! Oh, and I miss an Archweaver, but I don't care. We got a third Shockland in a Blood Crypt. Keep them coming. And a Foil Drudge Beetle. 
Okay. That's all right. Three shock lands in. That's pretty good. I think any more than three and you're, you're kind of living the dream a little bit. Yeah, I mean, you're, you're happy. Some people get more, some people get less. Security Blockade, Selesnia Charm, Sideboard Guard, Thrill Kill Assassin, and our rare is Collective Blessing. Really only limited playable enchantment. All your creatures get plus three, plus three. And if that thing hits the table and you even have a few creatures out in a limited or a sealed, you know, or draft or sealed, the game's pretty much over. It's kind of like, it's kind of like Pack Rat. You can get around it if you're playing against it, but it's not easy. And you have to get pretty damn lucky. Because even if you have the card to deal with it, like a Mizzium Mortars or something like that, you might not have it in your hand, you know? Goblin Rally, Fall of the Gavel, Zorius Charm, and a rare Laxodon Smiter. Very cool. Standard playable. 4-4 four, four for 3. That's just, uh, as they say value hashtag value we were talking on stream last night we're, we're kind of thinking like i try to get a topic trending on twitter and we might just go with uh, mtg beards like hashtag mtg beards and then think of something funny that we can all quote with that hat that we can all tweet with that hashtag or something minotaur aggressor zorius key rune golgari charm and a rare is a Cripborn Horror, I bet. Yes, Cripborn Horror. Three drop for zero, zero trample. It enters the battlefield uh, with X counters on it, where X is a total life lost this turn by your opponent. It's an okay card. Like, it's always a tough first pick for me because it's really a three mana zero, zero. <laughs> like, if you have no creatures on board and you get and you top deck this thing, it's, it's an utter complete blank. Obviously, that's not the plan, but that happens. Slum Reaper, Goblin Ooze, Judge is familiar. Ooh, is it a Deathrite Shaman? Deathrite Shaman. Very awesome pull. One drop for 1 2 with uh, Exile Tired Incident. Instant or Sorcery Opponent loses 2 life. Exile Target Creature card, you gain 2 life. Very cool. Very strong pulls so far. Hopefully that just hopefully that keeps rolling. Three shotguns and a death right shaman. There's a foil in here, but it's red, so I don't know if it could be anything of use. Rick's Madi Guild Mage. Azorius Justicar. Dried Militant and a rare is a volatile rig. Fun card for limited play, 4-4 four, four Trampler that has to attack, but um, there's just as much chance of it screwing you. And a Foil Minotaur Aggressor. Okay. Moving right along, moving right along. So yeah, how many of you guys are over on the mtgheadquarters.com forum? I know there's a couple other like YouTube channels that have forums, and I don't want to try to steal people away from them. So don't like leave your current forum. Unless it's MTG Salvation, then, then come on over. But I don't want to, like... I know some other channels have been working on theirs, too. Tavern Swindler. Bizarre Crovod. Treasured Find. Those are all... Those are three terrible uncommons. So bring it home with a sweet rare. And we have a terrible rare. Niv Magus Elemental. Not even limited playable, in my opinion. Alrighty. So, yeah, it's it's been growing crazy. There's like over a thousand people in there already, and then I noticed they started posting spoilers, like sometimes before other sites get them. Heroes Reunion, Phantom General, Hover Barrier, and our rare Hallowed Fountain. Whoo, shocking! And a foil armory guard. Okay. I need a sip of my Red Bull as we all uh, collectively hope that 
we might be on to some mythical box here where we find uh, five or six shock lands. I collect them, as you know. Gutter snipe. I'm kind of putting those off to the side because people often ask me for those. Follow the gavel. Street spasm. <laughs> and a sphinx's revelation. Ooh, sucker. That is insane. This, uh, please don't poop out on me box. We could be in the middle of something truly epic here. You gotta love it when your first mythic's a sphinx's revelation. Rakdos Kirun. Bazaar Crobod. Corozda Guild Mage. And Growing Ranks. Populate, triggers populate, enchantment that triggers populate every single turn. It's great and limited. Uh, great and limited if you draft Selesnya. It's a dud rare on pack, pack three, pick one, if you're not in Selesnya already, though. Explosive impact. Savage Surge. Arrest. See, that's the first arrest in the whole box. I always say those are like... I never see them in draft. Brush Strider and a rare. Mizio Mortars. Standard playable. Obviously, it's in some standard decks as well as sideboards. We have a foil. A foil explosive impact. Very cool. I don't know if we'll ever top that foil... Uh, search the city that we got in the last box, but Knightly Valor. Okay, Oak Street Innkeeper. Is it Charm? Risen Sanctuary. Slaughter Games. Slaughter Games can't be countered. Name an online card. Search target opponent's graveyard hand and library. For any number of cards with that name and exile them. A uh, swamp and a token. We have quite a few packs left. Let's hope we go out with a bang and not a thud. So I gotta tell you guys, I'm I'm really thankful to all of you who've been hanging out on stream and all of you who I've been noticing are, are taking time to tell people about the channel and share it. and It means a ton to me. I mean, you guys are my friends. All of you are, you know. And so when you do something nice for me, I like it. And that's why I try to do giveaways to try to do something nice for you. Yeah, the, the last box giveaway. Hold on. Is it Key Rune? Psychic Spiral. Rakdos Cackler. And a Havoc Festival. Okay, six drop. Players can't gain life. At the beginning of each upkeep, that player loses half their life. I don't know. You just never know with that card. Could end up in a weird deck. Um, yeah, so I've got this um, giveaway. I was thinking about selling those commander decks, but I'm not going to now. So I'll put a link in the, uh, like, you know how I do with the first comments. I'll put a link in there to the contest. And the forum, maybe, too. Call of the Conclave. Bluster Squall, Call of the Conclave. Vandal Blast. And our rare Archon of the Triumvirat. <laughs> Did I say it right this time, Zemet? <laughs> uh, limited Bomb. That's it. Goblin, Swamp, and a Foil Chaos Imps. All right, well, uh, there's our Foil Rare. It's not a foil shock land, but foil Domri rod. But it's better than a foil search the city, I think. I don't know. Is that played in any formats? EDH? No, probably not. It's a limited mega bomb though. Especially in the Dragon's Maze block because it's so slow. Is it Charn? Rogue's Passage. Risen Sanctuary. And Corpse Jack Menace. Card that sees some play, it's, it's great in draft if you're in Golgari or a Simic. Um, but never going to be worth anything because it was a promo card and 
all that stuff. Phantom General, Selesnya Kirun, Thrill Kill Assassin, and our rare Detention Sphere. Very solid, very solid rare. Couple of bucks and uh, definitely played and probably will be played forever. Okay, I don't see a, a scenario in which there's decks that don't have that card for a very, very long time to come. Hellhole Flailer, very good in draft. Golgari Decor, very good in draft. Nivix Guild Mage, pretty good in draft. And Conjured Currency, screw you. There. <laughs> On to the next pack. We're down to just a few. So if you're just stumbling across the channel now, make sure you uh, click that subscribe button. I'll be doing a vlog for the uh, Born of the Gods pre-release. Bluster Squall, Slitherhead, Tablet of the Guilds, and a rare. Grave Betrayal, Mon monster casting cost of seven, limited playable only. If you get it out in limited, can be very good. Again, I play that as like a 23rd, 24th card. Um, so yeah, the goal is 50,000 by March. And if that means I have to like teach a bunch of, you know, I'm trying to get new people into the game, you know, Shrieking Affliction. Brush Strider, Slime Molding, and a Sphinx of the Chimes. Six drop for a 5-6 flyer, limited playable, not else, not anything else. And a Foil Rakdos Shred, Shred Freak. I don't know, maybe might want somebody might want that card for their standard deck. Um, yeah, so I'm trying to do a couple of videos like targeted towards newer players help get more people into the game. And I'm working on something right now that I think is going to be pretty cool. Daggerdrome Imp. Very nice. I love drafting that card. Savage Surge. Blister Coil Weird. Judge is Familiar. And our rare is a world... Ah! We get our, our other mythic is a World Spine Worm. 11 drop for a 15-15 Trampler... Blah, 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 you'll never cast it. Except for in some strange, perfect, magical Christmas land world where you get all your ramp or you get your Garrick where he needs to be. I don't know. Obviously, there have there been... I remember there was some talk of some crazy combos. I suppose with Xenagos or something, but nobody, nobody plays that card, do they? Dark Revenant, Rogue's Passage, Teleportal, Blowout Card, and Erupt Decay. Really happy to get that. Oh, and an Assassin Token. Very cool. Maybe we'll get some, uh, maybe that's a sign that in one of these last few packs we've got a Vraska. We're down to three packs. We're going to start with the Guild Mage. So yeah, if you're new, please uh, take a second to subscribe. Or maybe if you're not new, share this with a friend. Like, send him an email and be like, dude, do me a favor and go subscribe to this guy. And maybe in a few months, all of a sudden, they'll start playing the game. Which would be really awesome. Codex Shredder. Dreg Mangler. Vandal Blast. Mana Bloom. That was a speculation target at one point for some people. We'll go through all there is again at the end for all of those people that don't like to enjoy and just skip to the end of life. Rakdos Key Room, Syncopate, Rakdos Ringleader, and Firemind's Foresight. Boo. All right, come on, let's go out with a bang. Any old Shockland will do. Any Domri Raid. I think I've opened two boxes and I don't think I pulled a Planeswalker yet. That's very un-MTGHQ-like. 
Just saying. Seek the Horizon. Assassin Strike. Blood Fray Giant. Ooh, some powerful Rakdos cards. Azorius Elocators is our final rare. Filibustered. Selesnia, our Centaur, and a Plans. Still a very uh, giving box. A couple of gutter snipes. Let's see, we got a Mana Bloom, Slaughter Games, New Magus Elemental, Locators, Foresight, got an Assassin Token, an Erupt Decay, which is a highlight, World Spine Worm, Sphinx of Chimes, Grave Betrayal, Corpse Check Menace, Archeon, Havoc Festival, D Sphere, very solid, Foil Chaos Imps, I, I don't know, Mizio Mortars, Growing Rink, Sphinx's Revelation, Hallowed Fountain, Volatile Rig, Deathrite Shaman, Loxodon Smiter, Underworld Connections, Pack Rat, Wayfaring Temple, Death's Presence, Mercutio Chemistry, Dead Bridge Goliath, Counter Flux, Ash Zealot, Temple Garden, Overgrown Tomb, and Blood Crypt. That is pretty uh, nuts. Some of the highlights, obviously the uh, Blood Crypt, Overgrown Tomb, Temple Garden. So we end up with, I think, four Shocklands. Yep, and a Hallowed Fountain. Four Shocklands, a Sphinx's Revelation, Deathrite Shaman. Oop. My Deathrite Shaman went flying. Very good. Those are like the premium cards, followed by like Detention Sphere, Abrupt Decay, and then all these other ones are kind of standard playable, or they're in current standard decks. That is Return to Ravnica. I'm anxiously awaiting Born of the Gods just like you. And uh, I hope that you'll take a moment to subscribe to the channel. Look forward to talking to you again real soon. I really hope you enjoyed the video. And if you haven't already, check out some of our most popular playlists from MTG vlogs, sick gameplay videos, new product breaks, and some insane vintage openings. I upload three to four new Magic the Gathering videos every week. So if you haven't already, please take a moment to crush that subscribe button to join one of the fastest growing Magic the Gathering channels on YouTube. Talk to you later.